Bree, good morning, Senator Cassidy. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm well. So I know you're joining us from a summit you just held in Baton Rouge dealing with mental health. Um, why is that so important to you, especially here in Louisiana? Yeah, so if you speak to any sheriff, the sheriff will tell you that he is the number one treater of mental health in his parish. That's not good. It's going to cost more for the taxpayer. The patient's going to do less well. And oftentimes, as we've learned over the, over the summit, where somebody who goes in for simple burglary will be out within 24 hours uh, on recognizance or a bond the person who's mentally ill can't get it together enough to do that and they stay three six and eight days or 12 days taxpayers paying the whole time if you take that same person who's mentally ill put them into a treatment program uh, you stabilize and get them back in the workforce they're paying taxes not consuming taxes they're doing better the family does better I could go on but lots of good things if we treat the mentally ill well Sounds great. So tell me about your work to pass and have the president sign some legislations that would help Americans choose affordable medicines for opioids. Yeah. So we got two things going on. One, we have an opioid bill, and two, we have um, uh, how do we make drugs more affordable. Just passed the big opioid bill. Um, the president signed it into law. A lot of provisions that I was fortunate enough to offer, trying to make it easier for law enforcement to stop the drug, trying to make it easier for people who are addicted to get treatment, get off the drug. Uh, if they get off the drug, make it easier for them to stay off the drug. Uh, and then uh, lastly, uh, oh, no, there's so many things I can't say lastly, but one more thing, uh, to, to, to make treatment available for those who have those cravings. How do I get over that craving that there's more providers that can give medicines to try and stop that craving? We're also working on making medicines more affordable. Uh, and um, uh, the president signed into law something that independent pharmacists in Louisiana brought to me about gag clauses, where a pharmacist could not tell you that it would be cheaper to pay cash than to pay your insurance copay. Uh, we just got that signed into law. Outlawing gag clauses, your pharmacist can work for you as opposed to an insurance company. We have other things coming down the pike, but that's a great start. Right, it really all ties together with bettering the people of Louisiana. Totally. We want, we want it to be best for the American citizen. And so whether it's health care, whether it's the economy, whether it's getting over a drug addiction. All right, so one last question. How do you view President Trump handling on the caravans? Yeah, so clearly we have to secure our southern border. We can't just have 7,000 people show up, get admitted, and stay here forever. Uh, there has to be a process. So he's clearly working through a, a, a variety of ways to stop that, getting Mexico to help us, getting Honduras to try and keep people there. We'll see how it all plays out, but this is where... It takes someone who's willing to do things differently, and President Trump's willing to do things differently. All right. Thanks, Senator Cassidy. It was great having you. Thank you for having me. Okay.